welcome to another edition of Pitch Brand Talk. I'm glad to have with me today Gaurang Tosani. He's the head digital marketing and eat sales at Royal Sundaram Insurance. Gaurang, welcome to Pitch Brand Talk. Thank you so much. Gaurang, I just want to start off first is that you have recently revamped your website. So what was the reason behind this move? And also if you could share any of the consumer insights which were incorporated when you revamped the website. So, uh, the key reason why we changed, uh, we, we revamped our website was primarily because we wanted to make it more customer centric. We wanted to ensure that the customer's entire sales journey or a service journey or a claims or a renewal journey is completely streamlined in a way that customer can start and finish at least in a lesser time as possible. Uh, we have also revised our content in the website where uh, we're simplifying the content so that people understand. You know, normally people say that it's very difficult to understand insurance that don't know how to buy, is this the right product, is that the right product and so on. So we're trying to simplify the content. We are trying to simplify the buy journey and the service angle as well drop part of it. Uh, looking at the key statistics or number, the reason why we, why, why we did what we did is because um, earlier we had two unique portals. One is a corporate portal, one is a sales portal. Uh, it does not make sense as a brand to have two portals. So we just brought both together and ensuring that uh, the customer wins at the end. And yeah, that's the key reason why we love it. You mentioned the word customer centricity. So can you share an example of how, say, I come to you as a client or uh, consumer, you ensure customer centricity across my experience? Absolutely. So, um, one, the way I said the content is simplified so customer can understand what they're actually buying. Um, the buy journeys are simplified. The, we're not asking irrelevant questions or they're not irrelevant fields that the customer has to fill up. In case a customer needs assistance, we have our own call center. Uh, uh, the expert staff who would call the uh, prospects in this case and take them to the journey, explain the products to them, uh, answer any queries if they have. Uh, and support them in buying the buying the insurance if they need at that point. Uh, if they need some more questions, maybe a later stage that they want to call back, we do that as well. When the customer buys the uh, buys the insurance policy from us, uh, we've also the way I said it also simplified the entire service angle of it. So the customer wants to make any edits in the uh, insurance policy copy, or he has some queries later on, right? You can just come on our system and enter the details and someone from our system, from our call center will call back and uh, help them to uh, you know, the entire, and ensure that the query is resolved. Right? We also have our self-service portal where the customer can log in and uh, ask for a duplicate copy of the policy document if required or a tax document required. Everything, everything is completely digital now. Just come on a platform and get it sorted. From a claims angle, Again, which is a key reason why the customer is buying the policy from us. Um, we have made it very simple and simplified digital process for an uh, existing customer to come on the platform, uh, you know, uh, intimate us for the claim. And then if required, we have a backend team who can again support and they have clarification this call and uh, 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 get the uh, questions clear, clarified from a claims or renewals perspective. So. Uh, Everything has been built, keeping in mind the customer is the king or at the center today. And how are we able to support the customer in ensuring that they achieve what they want to achieve and they get the service that they are supposed to supposed to get. Yeah. So can you share with us what's the claims ratio? So today from um, uh, from motor perspective, we have about 98.33% claim settlement ratio or claim disposal ratio, that we call it. So uh, it's one of the best in the industry today. And uh, uh, a lot of effort goes into keeping the, uh, the, set, the disposal ratio so high. It's primarily because we have a set team who works on it with a, uh, whatever requirements that we get from a customer, you know, getting back, uh, getting more details, more documents that we need from them, ensuring that the customer's uh, claim is processed as soon as possible once we have all the details that we need. So yeah, that's that's all it is. Now, in, you had just mentioned about the content being simple. 
Now, the BFSI category as a whole has a perception of being a very complex product with customers not understanding what is actually needed. Or sometimes they say, you know, when the after the uh, after they get an insurance or when they have to claim it, you know, they then uh, said that oh, this is not covered. So a lot of things very complex. You have simplified the process, but do you think there's more which way you can go and simplify it further? What's your journey been for this? So. Oh, I totally agree with your point here. Um, a lot of times, but actually, I would also say that a lot of customers when they buy insurance policy, I don't think they go through the all the entire document by themselves. Okay, it's not that difficult as well to understand, and not just us, but uh, I'm sure all the insurance companies are looking at simplifying their policy documents, etc. And they have they are doing it. They have been doing it, and uh, it's it's an ongoing process for us and for everyone. Where we keep focusing on how do we simplify for the customer the entire process, right? Uh, but the onus also lies on the customers to go through and understand. If they don't understand, for them to ask questions while they are buying and even after after buying as well, right? Uh, a lot of time we see in claims is that when someone is filing a claim, not all the documents are shared, Correct. right? And there is there is some back and forth that happens to collect all the documents, to get some clarifications, etc. If we follow what is required to file a claim, for example, claims does get settled much faster, right? Uh, same with understanding all the uh, all the features, all the benefits, or what is covered and not covered in a policy uh, is very important. For a customer perspective as well, customers should also, um, you know, put some effort in understanding it. Right? The the content or the data is available on the website and the policy document, etc. So it's it's a two way thing. As a as an insurer, yes, it's my responsibility to simplify things or the TNCs or the product details, etc. It's also the customer's responsibility to understand and go through it and ask questions if required. Um, now, just moving on to the reach, can you just tell us about the reach that you have, physical as well as digital? Sure. So today, uh, so we are uh, we are present. We have a 160 plus branches today, uh, physical branches. Yes, uh, with uh, with an entire network of partners and agencies that we have today, uh, we we are catering to about 19,000 plus pin codes, which is almost the entire country today. Right, while uh, People in, in the country, they do say that in Rolls Minimum is a southern based organization. Uh, while, we, while our HO is based out of Chennai, but uh, we are catering to or servicing the entire country, all the pin codes. Right? Uh, we, have, we have our banking tie ups, uh, we have our agents, we have our uh, broker partners. We recently did a tie up with, uh, uh, with India Post. I mean, moment you are with India Post, you're covering the entire country just because they are present in the entire country, right? So, from that perspective, our reach is actually everywhere. Entire country, yeah. Uh, you mentioned India Post, but you've also tied up with the IRCTC. For people who don't know, that's Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation. Right. So, what does this entail for the brand and how does it help you build your brand salience? So, uh, yeah. So, we, are, we have tied up with IRCTC where Every time a customer, an ICTC customer buys a train ticket, uh, our uh, personal accident cover gets bundled along with it. So it's not just with us. Uh, often there are multiple other partners. So any ICTC customer may get one policy, policy from one insurer or the other. Uh, what we cover is basically personal accident there. And uh, uh, from a brand sales perspective, today is that uh, gives us a larger reach. Right, people people get to know about our brand much more, and uh, it's also from the perspective that we are also trying to, in a way, we offer something back. You know, uh, it's not about always being a, a profitable uh, uh, campaign or a, or a or a business deal, right? It's also being available and doing something which uh, which which gives back to the society, right? In this case, yeah. Uh, how is your media and marketing, uh, your media mix and your marketing strategy evolved, say, in the last two years? Sure. So, we are uh, very heavy on digital from a marketing perspective. 
uh, when it goes to acquiring customers, right? Uh, from that perspective, the website is purely digital for us right now. Ninety-nine percent is digital. Um, is also it's a very thought over process, uh, 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 thought over strategy, primarily because today a lot of people are moving from moving to digital, right? Today, I mean, all of us have our phones, we have internet, and whatever we want to search, or whatever product that we want to buy, we use our phones to buy a product or avail the service. So we would want to be in that space much more. Uh, not saying that uh, physical or, or non-digital marketing is not required. It's definitely required, but from our, our perspective, we would want to be more on the digital part, digital uh, branding or digital marketing perspective. We would want to be much more there. Um, so, from a, we are very heavy on Google today. Right? Today, our, our, from a digital acquisition perspective, uh, Meta as well. So, we run a few campaigns on Meta just to be keep ourselves cool or keep uh, create the brand salience uh, visibility perspective. Uh, while I say this from a, from a digital perspective, uh, from a non-digital perspective, we are we, we do believe that uh, we have our own agents, we have our own intermediaries or partners, right? We want to do that kind of a marketing or a branding there, right? So that there's a lot of salience generated with them, created with them. So that this intermediaries uh, support the business, the organization, and that is the focus, the 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 way we look at from a marketing angle right now. Uh, would you be looking to up your marketing spends? Do you think you will up it for this year? Uh, yeah, compared to last year, yes, marketing spends are going up. Uh, primarily, uh, looking at more of acquisition and engagement led uh, spends, um, uh, and then uh, non digital as well. So. Uh, let's just talk about the industry. Now, insurance is he- still a very underpenetrated sector in India. What do you see uh, the future of this and how much more can you tap into this? And also, Roy, what are you looking to, ex- uh, to kind of expand your reach also in this? So, uh, purely, if you look at, yeah, I totally agree. Uh, insurance is a very underpenetrated uh, segment here, which is, which is why uh, IDA, the governing authority for insurance, is putting a lot of effort today uh, to bring in uh, more people under the fold of insurance, right? And uh, insurance is nothing but where we, you know, we, we are mitigating the future risk or expected risk, right? Uh, which is uh, today, I mean, if you look at health insurance, right? Uh, purely, I mean, the cost of uh, treatment is going up. Right, we have seen a lot of younger population as well getting heart attacks or so on. Right, they're getting serious diseases. Now, keeping in mind all this, insurance is very, very much required. Uh, but people think that usually that this is not going to happen to me; it's going to happen to someone else. Uh, till it happens to you, that's when you realize, right? And when it happens to you, people wouldn't want to insure you at that point right? because you already we know they're going to. So uh, that's why we always say in health insurance that. Take the health insurance when you don't need it. So when you need it, you are supported, you are protected. Right? And uh, it's it's something that I'm sure every insurance company today is doing where uh, we are going out to the market and the public at large and informing them in one some campaign or the other the importance of insurance, why you should take it, what the benefits of the product that you buy. Right? Um, this why uh, all this is being done, uh, uh, the the um, the urgency of buying the insurance is something somewhere which is lacking, largely. Still, a lot of people are still buying insurance, no, no doubt about that. But largely, that is something which is missing. And uh, it's going to take some time. Uh, there's a lot of uh, changes are happening in the industry. Uh, people are... Uh, Becoming aware. So, if you would have seen after COVID, people were there was, there was a big spike in insurance, in health insurance, by me. So, but now I think the urgency again, again has gone away, uh, but uh, not as much as probably pre COVID, right? People are understanding the requirement. Also, we have as a brand today, also, we, uh, for example, like the idea is given as Telangana as a, as a state to focus on. Uh, so we are conducting a lot of uh, 
activities in this team so that we can, we are able to uh, create more awareness about insurance products in general it's not just as, this is what rolls them in charge but in general over for a bit of time we have been able to do that yeah it's a continuous process again right uh, so that is how we are doing it right? uh, would you be able to tell me like you know because the headroom for growth is in men so here what is the growth that you anticipate say for the coming year these are we say fy24 uh from an organization perspective we're going to grow at least about 20 25% is what we expect and that's what we are planning in a way uh from an industry perspective i'm sure every insurance uh company has a focus where they want to grow they want to increase the penetration uh but it just uh i would say the tech will also play a big part in uh, improving the penetration uh tech from an insurance company side as well as uh that uh, the entire infrastructure around it right where we need uh, cell phones we need a uh, good internet connection also, which is already quite available right today tier 2 tier 3 tier 4 segments also are using uh, they have access to internet today they have access to smartphones today right so this is all just gonna come together so that the penetration over a bit of time for insurance goes up uh finally what are the trends do you see in the insurance marketing space in the insurance marketing space uh, ai is going to play a, a big part not just insurance but overall marketing space in the country or in the world uh, ai is going to be yeah. play a big part today uh, content is so much easy to c- create with the help of ai right uh, which is the big deal now uh, ai is going to help us also understand which segment to target over the period of time today also which actually helping us to understand our data understand our customers uh understand what uh content to push to home and so on right so put together uh ai and marketing are going to go hand in hand is going to uh support the brand in pushing out the right content at the right time and from a customer perspective is going to help them get the content the right time and when they need it and the form that they understand we simplify it right that's how it is thank you so much for your time it was a very very exciting and nice discussion thank, thank you, you. thank you